And new tonight, investigators claim accused murderer Caitlin Armstrong plotted for months to escape jail. And that's all according to new court records obtained by KXAN investigators. And this all comes just weeks before she's set to stand trial for the murder of professional cyclist Mo Wilson. KXAN investigator Kelly Wiley joins us now with how investigators say she pulled this off. Kelly, what have we learned? Well, investigators lay out months worth of video footage showing her running, doing squats and yoga throughout the day. They found a metal pin and dental floss in her cell. They believe she used to manipulate her hand restraints. And they say last, she secured an outside medical appointment and was able to get around having leg restraints. They say all of this led to a 10 minute mile long foot chase where she tried to scale a six foot wall and was able to slip her hand out of her hand restraints. The affidavit says the officers got hurt while chasing her and yelling out for her to stop. And Kelly, this is interesting considering she's accused of fleeing the country and that was just weeks after the death of Mariah. Exactly. The day after Wilson was found dead, investigators questioned Armstrong. She wasn't under arrest, but the next day, U.S. Marshals said she used a phony passport to board a flight to Costa Rica, according to U.S. Marshals. Three days later, an arrest warrant was out for her, but it was not until 40 days later, U.S. Marshals found her in Costa Rica, allegedly with an altered appearance, darker hair and bruising on her nose. And Kelly, we know her attorney really can't say anything about this right now. That's correct. There is a gag order in this case, but we have reached out with every development this week, and there have been many as we've laid out for you. So far, we've not heard back. All right, Kelly, thank you very much.